Wait. I wonder... I haven't really seen many games require that you walk for particular sections unless, say, there's a puzzle or something that requires silence. Or yeah. Spell. <sighs> you need a silver key for this, this lock gate, kid. It's gotta be around here somewhere. It's a shame I have crippling jump problems. Counter. Time for more training, kid. This just occurred to me, but... You can totally talk to your enemies. You're all minions after all, but you can only talk before attacking your enemies. Learning new info is important, so make it a habit of talking before attacking. Like a Lauren! Now! <laughs> Sorry, reference. <laughs> now, talk to that enemy by pressing the right D-pad. Testella? Really? Testella. I, I need to turn the light yeah. on because it's getting dark. It, it's fine. Well, I don't think you read this one. No, I didn't. Lovely weather we're having, huh? A little bit chilly, though. Um, good to know, I guess? Next up is your HP up there. If that number reaches zero, it's game over, obviously. So, to avoid your early demise, you could use this. That's your potions button. You can use it to replenish 50% of your HP. To use it, just press the left D-pad. So, um... Your face is a mess, yo. Yeah, you said what? She she provoked Testella. Te Testella? Oh, yeah. Whatever, whatever, her name is. <laughs> whatever her name is. Now, kid, use a potion. <laughs> there you go. Feeling better? Uh. You can use potions outside of battles. Press the V button. There's y a button three y? times. It, the pixels are yeah, so... Yeah, it really... It really it, does not look like a Y. If maybe the left pixels were moved yeah, the, over, yeah, whatever then it the would font look does, like a Y. The, the V and the Y look very similar. <laughs> the, Press the Y button three times. One to show the HUD, like the HUD, like the UI. Is that what it's supposed to yeah, be? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And two more to confirm. Now, it's time for desperate measures. If you feel like you need to flee a battle, well... You could bribe your foes. The only way to stop your enemies from attacking you is with money. Your coins appear in the down right corner of the screen. Okay, make sure you have enough. So, really? Mm -hmm. You you can talk to every enemy that you approach, yep. and you can pay them off so that yep. if you accidentally approach- I mean, they're they're trying to flip every trope on its head, so instead of running away, you have to bribe them off and a <laughs> bunch of other stuff. I like it! This is part of the reason- Well, otherwise you just use coins to boost up your own abilities. You don't ever use it to, mm -hmm. to defuse situations, so I think that's fun. Okay. You pay coins to your enemies. No, to pay coins to your enemies, just press the back button. Let's try it! Pay up! If you don't want to end up broke, you better fight your battles like I told you. Bribing grants less experience after all. After you pay them enough coins, they will leave you alone and you won't be able to fight them again. That's it for now. Okay, back to battle! What if you just decide to run and... and actually refrain from instigating a new battle. I'm not sure. I don't know if this has a pacifist mode. Well, we already killed the first enemy. That's what people were lamenting, the fact that you couldn't The tutorial get forces it. you? Yeah. Oh no, you need... Oh no, it was your stamina, not your HP. I like this combat system. <laughs> it's gonna get tougher. Obviously, but I like it. Sweet right, experience. And, oh, points. full HP. I see. So that's so you just, can't, you can't that's just that. an HP drop. Yeah, I can absorb their souls for uh, sweet HP. Well, this is fun. 
And my voice is already, uh, running into snags. Well, mainly just a tickle of my throat more than anything else. Oh, okay, so that was just some water. Yep. <coughs> hmm. Anyway, I don't know, I've just been, uh... Um, oh, you don't need to hold your breath? That's nope. That's nice. Nope. I mean, who knows what I am? <laughs> am I, am I human, just wearing a mask? Am I like some kind of eponymous minion creature, or...? Someone that looks like Bitey. Molly? Yeah, it's another, it's another lady lizard. Have you noticed sometimes your attacks say, Groovy? <coughs> Sorry? That's what happens when you hit an enemy with the beat of the music! Resulting in a small attack bonus. It's a little hard though, so don't get discouraged if you miss a few beats. It's not really mandatory. If you need some help with that, I'll be singing the beats at the center of bat- oh. In the center of battle? Really? Mm -hmm. Menu while you fight. Encounter. Oh, so she's doing the. Uh, uh, uh. That's gonna be hard to time that one. Interesting. Ow! Ow! Stamina. You got bit. I feel so bad seeing all those emoji faces coming yeah, the, off the, the enemies. Yeah, the sad minions. You could drive her. I could, but like. Then you don't get that experience. Yeah. She was the one just telling you about how to be groovy. And... I know. This game is so conflicting. Well, I mean, if you want, we could always try doing a run with uh, where I like give us infinite money after we beat the game. And we try and bribe every single person just to see what happens. Well, couldn't you just walk past this person? Does every... No, you, you bump into them, it's battle time. No matter what? Yeah, which is kind of dumb. Yeah. You think they wouldn't actually accost you, but what? Yeah, if you notice the encounter, yeah, you might be able to jump over them. Coward Bob. It's always hard down here when patrolling. Yeah, I'm a huge coward. Sue me. Even if a dumb hero comes down here, I have an emergency potion in a chest se uh, secret chest. It's very close by. Well, good to know. No. Oh, friend out of energy. Yeah, so I can't do two attacks in uh, Short quick succession. succession. Yeah. It's easier to easier to wait. Now, what was the A button? Uh, A button is jump. Ah, okay. So kind of depending on uh, if he's attacking or if I'm if I'm blocking. It's an interesting combat system. I like it. Oops. Victory. That's okay. Okay, those are worth a little bit more. And where's the hidden chest? Uh, I think that was the potion I actually found over on over the left. Over on the left, as opposed yeah, to on the right. Yeah, Coward Bob, not exactly uh, Genius Bob either. Makes me wonder what you missed up above. Yeah, I don't know. Oops. But no, I figure one way or another, we do a, uh, we do this run at least as a fight everything, you know, kind of play the game normally. Undertale had a, uh, a true pacifist kind of thing that you could do, but it was, uh, it was much more satisfying because there was actually, like, combat Well, that's the thing, you don't know. Maybe mechanics. there's... I know that some games have, instead of necessarily pure fast pacifist or pure, um, I don't know what kind of mode you would call for, like, obliteration mode, what they do is they have thresholds, and if you oh, no. sneak past enemies, negotiate with them, whatnot, obviously, at the end of the game, your total kill count would be far less. So what they do is they have thresholds, and the thresholds determine whether or not you get the, like, one ending or another, or sometimes there might even be several endings that are entirely based on just how many people you slew. Yeah, True. Have you ever encountered that in a game before? I'm trying to think of a good example for it. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't actually run out of stamina. I think this is the first time we've approached a, an enemy from the right. So the UI switch, switches around. Look, he's saying stop. 
like this. I do have a lot of money. I just don't know how much you have to bribe them. I mean, you can always try. Hey! I- He's crying! Ouch! This is terrible! I don't like this! Uh... Dishonored? Oh, does that have a system for it? Yeah, Dishonored, Dishonored has like a, a chaos versus otherwise. Well, also in Bioshock, didn't they have that? Well, I mean, we could always see. <laughs> um, I mean, like, it's, it's one of those where like, I don't know if it's possible to play this. I mean, it could be one of those things where if you're too nice to all the minions, you won't be able to defeat the big boss at the end or- Yeah, I like I, I don't know if there's a pacifist run on this game. Or if it's just like that they just gamified everything. I just I'm I'm not used to A being able to talk with every Let's enemy. Let's see if we can bribe B given out so that Yeah, I but all of the emojis, they're so no. sad. Oh wait, do you actually glide with your Oh, that's cute. Do you I... know do you know I actually used to do that with my baby blanket when I was little? Yeah, I did too. I would I would attempt to make it into a parachute and I jump off the couch and obviously there wasn't Fail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no air resistance there. That's... It makes me wonder if depending on how high you jump from or and what fabric it is, have people actually succeeded in parachuting? Homemade parachutes? Something that they just Homemade hold. parachutes are a thing, but it's not a good idea. Well, I mean, you would always ha you'd probably have to have a safety measure and oh, no. other things in place, like a real parachute. So, if we can oh. Rado. If you're low on potions, explore your surroundings for chess. You it could save you when you're in a pickle. Thank feels... you so much for giving the generous advice. It's too... Like, you really couldn't walk the other direction and leave him alone? Uh, I could've. But like, I, I straight up have... He's crying and he's saying, hey! <laughs> and crying again. This is terrible. Oh. Interesting. Could not jump there immediately. I... If the boss can be bribed and we can avoid the boss, like fighting the boss, then I'll start over and we'll I'll, we'll try and we'll attempt well, a uh, pacifist playthrough. Oh no, no no! I'm not even talking about like bribing the boss at the end. Well, I was just saying that I don't know like of what importance coins will be to you in this game. Like what were the? Ooh, that's a pretty tree. Hmm. Seriously. <sighs> You need a key, kid. And not just any key. The shiny and important looking kind of key. That's the Moth Queen's big tree. If we can reach the top, we can take her on. But it looks like they locked the door with a special lock. So it probably needs a special looking key. Let's find it. Oh, and by the way, if you happen to get stuck, you can read that journal of yours in the items menu. Huh? Uh, no, calm down. I didn't read it. That much. Because, <laughs> yeah, I, I do feel guilt for, for what I'm doing here. I'm just... Oh, hello. I'm Emerald just... Metals. Also oh. not sure... Okay, so this brings us to the cave. Hey, there's, there's a secret area. underwater area. Yep. Um, but I'm, I'm not sure if pacifism is actually even a thing you can do. Or if the paying them off thing- I- Like, I know the game's supposed to make you feel guilty. I just don't know if it's like Undertale where it's like, there is in fact a, a true pacifist route, or if it just makes you feel guilty. Yeah, you don't have a guide for something like that yet. Cause I can avoid these guys. Yeah, you can avoid them if you want to. I mean, you can't avoid all of them. I- I'm torn. Does anybody know? 
Because, <laughs> like, I would gladly uh, replay through this section. So that's the silver key. The silver key can help you with that one door very early on. Yeah. I think I've already committed to fighting everybody on this save file. Uh, but if they- I- I will do but research. as I said, what if it's a cumulative Oops, thing? You could have said something. Oh. Well, no. I- I'm- I'm not about half measures here. Really? I- So... I mean, no matter what, you have to slay that first lizard because that's her tutorial. Yeah. I would rather have, like, a... Uh, a, a, a save file for both, you know, effectively one where, where I fight everybody and one where I, What's uh... What's the cassette? You found a cassette tape. Yeah, Play it changes it. the music. Huh. And we also level up. Huh. Okay. You get to choose different upgrades. So increase our health, increase our damage, increase our stamina. Do you want to increase damage? Or do you want to attack more often? Because I think you're okay with HP. Yeah. I'm gonna put one into stamina for now. This is what this way I can attack twice in a row without getting tired. And then we can switch over to Uh we can switch over to it. This game's not even out yet. Yeah, but the demo's been available for ages. And hence is my Is this the demo like, or is this a potential. full copy? No, this is the actual full copy. Uh, okay. The game comes out on Wednesday, I believe it is. Uh, so they, 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 uh, I, I send them an email being like, you know, hey, can I get a press copy? And they're like, oh, I, we were gonna give you one anyway. <laughs> cool. But yeah, so I'll, I'll look into whether or not a, a full pacifism run is possible. Because if there, if that is, then I would not mind rebooting so we can feel like not monsters. <laughs> Because I really do fe feel bad for all the lizards. I do too. I so I loved I loved Under Undertale's system of just like uh, effectively what you would do is you'd avoid enemy attacks while trying to uh, speak to them. And, and if you talked with them enough, they would they relent. would yeah, yeah they would uh, they would spare you. Right. There was that whole thing about sparing. You can swim, right? Eh. I'll take that as a, I'm not that incompetent, you know? Oh, you could also glide over it, right? I've seen masked kids glide with their hoodies. Like some kind of hoodie shoots. When you're in midair, press the jump button to perform a glide. There, I gave you two options to proceed. I'll let you decide what to do. I'm not some control freak. But yeah, they've had, like, demos and stuff for this game out for ages. And... So, I don't know. Oh, you can climb this. I was wondering how you're supposed to get back from that. You might be right about it, though, if if the enemies are unique entities. They all have names. Which they really all have gets names, me. and when you kill all of them, it, there's nothing left. They uh, don't come back. The guilt has actually hit me <laughs> real hard. <laughs> I know. I don't like it. Like, she did the whole, you can bribe them, but it gives you less experience, but it still gives you experience. See, that's the thing. I mean, you'll, you can choose what you I want. I don't to like guilt. <laughs> I mean, I guess an easy test would be, it's too late now. What I will do, uh, we'll, we'll go with this as far as we can. Only fight when you need to? Looked it up and one guy said there seems to be only three enemies in the game that you can't, uh, you can't bribe, including the tutorial guy. Huh. Um. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Like, I, I assume that you have to kill the boss monsters. And those were the three bosses to get the three items. And obviously, tutorial guy was tutorial guy for combat. But everyone else, you could bribe. Yeah, so what The I'll... question is, are there enough coins in the game Yeah, to... what I'm gonna do is actually um, try and, like, tonight, after we're done streaming, I'm just gonna do a full pacif 
pacifism run and see if there's any difference. Or if I run out of money or can't get past anything. Okay. And well, well, let's just see. kind of quietly record that. And if it turns out that full pacifism is possible, then we'll. Um, I mean, it also might be one of those things where, depending on how many enemies you kill, determines different layers of mm -hmm. uh, endings. I think now is a good time to teach you about defense. Hello. This is your shield. Useful for blocking and parrying enemy attacks. It costs one stamina point to use. Let's start by blocking an attack. To block an attack, simply raise your shield by holding down the right trigger button. Ready? Go! Good! That green circle represents your shield's life, and it seems like it took some damage already. Take too many hits, and it will break. You can fix your shield with magic anvils outside of battle in your items menu, or pay to fix it at the evil store. There's a better way to use your shield without breaking it, and it's called parrying. It consists of raising your shield right before an enemy attack hits you, and boom! Now your enemy is stunned and vulnerable to attacks. Plus, you regain a little stamina too. Let's try it out, ready? Go! Wow, nice! So satisfying. Unlike blocking, parrying doesn't damage your shield. And it can even send back most projectile attacks. You can even parry and block while tired. Especially useful when you're in a pinch. Enough chit-chat. Defeat that monster. Nope. Is it too late to bribe a monster when you're already fighting them? Yeah. Uh, no. You you can... You can... You can bribe them at any point. Like, right now. But you're just gonna do the... Destroy everything here? At least for now. Yeah. You did skip that one guy underwater. Uh, and then I went back for him. You did? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm just taking a bunch of damage. I, I'm I was zoning out a little bit. No, we're not it's probably too late if I'm going to be doing uh pacifism stuff. But I just uh, think it's a really unique mechanic and it has to mean something. It it might, yeah, but again, I'll i I'll test that uh I'll I'll test that later, like tonight. Okay. Cause I, I am committed to the idea of checking it out, and if it turns out that there is a, a pacifism run on this... Oh yeah, people are saying you can check achievements. Yep. Those achievements that's will have that's titles. That's also possible. Apartment key, where does this... Oh, this is the... You can choose another uh, apartment. Yeah. Well, you have access to another apartment. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be the ghost one, would it? Uh, maybe. Who knows? Because a ghost stole a key, but that's, that's in World 2. But yeah, achievements are a good idea. Though if the developers are smart, they'll um hide it. Yeah, they'll they'll do hidden achievements. When I played Undertale, I already knew that uh, pacifism, like there were distinct routes, so I just kind of stuck with one instead of trying to experiment. Gollop? Fighting underwater is great for us. We don't slow down while jumping or attacking. It's nuts. You don't look very amphibian, so you might want to fight on land. In other words, don't fight him. Oh, it's the same thing. Okay, it was still, like, blinking. That just must be so upsetting. These guys are giving you advice and suddenly you start slashing at them. Like an awful person? That I am? You see, in most games... Oops. You just have enemies running at you, and there's no way you can yeah. negotiate your way out of it. Yeah, so I feel the... incredibly uncomfortable watching you slay these poor creatures when you have 200 coins! I just want to know what one bribe is. No, nope. we'll, we'll, like, I, I will commit Mushroom. to that. Mushroom! Oh, you can't jump on nope, it or anything. doesn't look like I can do anything to it. Oh, poison! Watch out! Oh, spikes! That's oh. what it means. It's just a danger. Danger is wafting up from the spikes. Just I thought to warn it was you like about poison, their presence. Poison clouds. Oh, okay. 
Oh, I guess no. I know. Oh, I see. The uh, the mushroom is there, so it's like safe zone. Safe zone here. Okay. But no, I I I agree with you. I want to test it out. <gasps> this is the purple one. Natasha, I am an honorable warrior. A worthy opponent is what I see. Do not dare insult me with your dirty money. I bring you down with just one hiss and a blade. Fight uh, me, masked warrior. Uh, well, it looks like she, looks she like outright says that bribing is impossible, yeah. so you have to kill her. Okay, so same deal. Well, we we have an answer. We Whammo. Ow. Oh. Much faster. So, all the other ones have been uh, tough until now. This one's a little bit uh, quicker on the draw. Yep. Okay. I I mean, she is a probably a rare recolor. Yep. This means I have to focus a little bit more. Commentating over. Uh, Swifter fights starts get, starts uh, to be a bit. Yeah, because you're you have tough. to focus on the ry rhythm game aspect of it, and then you just time everything. Yep, I appreciate it though. That was cool. Uh, I I will admit the fights have felt sluggish up until now, but it means I might be uh I might be a little bit uh slow to respond during combat in the future. Not that I dislike it though. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, there are some enemies that won't take a bribe. Okay, Moth Forest. Big tree. Uh, we I still haven't acquired the special key. Yep. Well, keep going this way well, and we'll I like probably that, get it. like that manner of constructing clouds. Yeah. Indeed. Well, that's what I do. Yeah. The little... Oh. Little poops and lines. Do we... We're back here. Wow. I might have missed the key? Or maybe we did it. You know what? We probably did get it, actually. Yep, oh, yeah, we you did, did get, get it. it. Must not have been paying full attention. Was it after we defeated Natasha or someone else? Might have been. Well, let's see if we got a boss fight up ahead. This might also be a really short game, too. <gasps> Who's that? Oh. It looks like a minion, but they, they are devoid of color, and they also have a lot of hero gear? I I guess so. Alright, so we've got a throne up to the right. Save, and we've got some al alternate routes. Well. Finally! Considering this door wasn't locked before, that must mean many things have changed since the last time I was here with... the previous hero. Alright, kid. Time to go up. Let's reach the summit and defeat that ugly bug. We, I like I like float jumps in games. I wonder if we're gonna meet the mini moths around here. Oh yeah, yeah, the ones that look like faces with teeth. Mhm. Mm Probably. Yep. There you go. This way to safe station. Marsha. Going to the safe station? Ah, me too. But just between you and me. I go there just to get to see that lovely lady. <laughs> we. She's referring to the the booth Safe lady. station lady, yeah. Yeah. Probably. Oh, who's this bug guy? Bocce. Hey there, traveler. My name's Bocce, and I'm a businessman. A peddler. I prefer the term traveling merchant. Thank you very much. So, take a look at my stuff. Magic anvils. Now that's to repair your shields. Not much. Thank you very much, Traveler. Come back anytime. Oh, hey, a boombox. Yep, so we can switch the music around. Cost ten coins to use the machine. All done, sugar. Okay. Yeah, it's just normal stuff. Okay, but yeah, there's only three uh three overall bosses in I areas. I think this music is a little 
happy for the well, it's just for the save station. Oh, just for the save station. Yeah, so it doesn't right. really matter. It's mainly just so you can listen to the music. Who's uh, that? That's the moth that we ran into earlier. Wait, she respond? We never killed her. Oh right, we did. Yeah, we didn't fight her. Okay. 